Welcome to another edition of Buy Stuff, Make Stuff. Today we're getting in the holiday spirit and we're gonna make a Christmas ornament. Um, we're gonna try our hand at engraving and um, doing a little, uh, uh, I don't know, surface treatment or finish kind of a thing that, uh, see how that works. So stick around. Here we're using just a small horizontal bandsaw. Um, we got this from Northern Tool. Works pretty good. Um, and here we're, I'm just sanding it down with some 180 grit sandpaper. If it was, uh, the final finish was super critical, I'd probably hit it with some, some finer stuff as well, but uh, this is fine for this project. Just give it a couple quick coats of Rust-Oleum. Put it in the vise, uh, red side facing down, and face the material so that we get it to a uniform thickness of a quarter inch. Here we're using the Diamond Drag engraver. It, um, the one that Tormach offers. A little trouble in the Sprout Cam trying to figure out exactly how to get this to work. Uh, I was watching the Tormox latest video on uh, where they do a holiday engraving and downloaded the files there and, and it, uh, I got some ideas on how to make that better. Now here, um, I thought I had it figured out so that it, the spindle wouldn't turn on and in Sprout Cam the spindle speed is zero RPM, so I'm not sure why it was uh, doing this. Maybe because uh, I stopped the program to flip it and um, didn't just pause it, I stopped it so, so that I, once I flipped the part, I used the Heimer to find the X zero again, and then when I restarted it, at that point, maybe it's there's just something default that has some spindle speed or something. I'm not sure. So here I, I'm doing a roughing waterline, uh, kind of pocket out the whole thing. I done it, uh, uh, tried it previous to this using. Basically, you know, just a 2D contouring, contouring, um, like kind of like a router, and I, I felt like the finish on the edges wasn't very good, and so I just did this where I just pocketed it all out, and that seems to that, that did leave a, a much better finish on the edges. This was just uh, something that Sprout Cam did automatically in the roughing water line. Uh, probably not necessary, but I don't think it hurts anything either.
this has a hanger at the top, a little, uh, just a, a little hole uh, that's an eighth inch thick from the uh, Z0 point to 0.125. So right here I'm, I'm doing this roughing waterline uh, eighth of an inch deep and switch them to a, uh, I think we'll chamfer right here. Yep. Now if you look at the finish on this, um, it's a little rougher than I'd like. Uh, maybe I'd, uh, if I did it again, I'd probably think about slowing it down a little bit for a uh, smoother finish. Yeah, here we put a the hole for the the uh, hanger spot. And then we'll go back in with the quarter inch end mill and do another roughing water line down to. I think I had it set to five thousandths thick. Actually, I think I had this supposed to be like ten thousandths, and then I come in after this and do a. The idea is to come in after this, do a, a 2D contouring, contouring with the eighth inch end mill, which gets me the the radius I want in the corners, and that brings it down to. I believe 5,000 thickness there, maybe maybe even a little less. You'll see that I must not have had the workpiece all the way down because you'll see uh, as I get to the bottom that, that I uh, break through on some of it and <laughs> have to improvise a little bit on the uh, vibration control. Now here I left um, 10 thousandths uh, radial stock as well on the part, which will get cleaned up with the uh, finishing pass on the, on the 2D contouring with the eighth inch end mill. See there, you can see it's it's going through, obviously. That turned out all right. Now you'll see here, like if you look at the words, you can see them uh, that the whole piece is is vibrating. Yeah, right there, you can see it's vibrating quite a bit. What I end up doing is getting a, a chip brush and just kind of keeping some pressure, a little bit of pressure on the part itself. And that held it really well actually. 
Um, this vibration on this first pass left a little bit of marking on there, but not too bad. Not enough to uh, redo it. I found my brush and put it on there. You can see it's it's vibrating much less. As it comes through these, you can you can see here along the bottom, you can see where the marking is from the vibration before uh, on that first pass. There's just a little bit of a, a ledge there. So once we popped it out of here. Uh, just file the edges, uh, the back edges a little bit, and uh, we were good to go. Well, that wraps up another episode of Buy Stuff, Make Stuff. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Um, and if you like uh, what you see, uh, please subscribe. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.